Hey hello, welcome back, welcome back to another Onkruid video, an edited Soulstone Survivors run. Scorching Valley, the first map, headed over to the top left corner this time. I keep switching up the corners to keep the visuals a little bit interesting, but I do realize that maybe potentially me going for the speedrun attempts has become a bit boring because we're always just standing in the top corner of the map. Either way though, it's my video and I'm playing the game, not you, so I can do whatever the hell I want. For real though, I'm thinking about what to do with the rest of this game. I might sooner or later retire the content in it for a while until the the pre-release until the early access comes out and then jump back into more edited content and focus my channel on this game again for a while in like the 9 a.m slot for now i still really really enjoy creating content in it and creating these unedited videos because they are very easy for me to make the only downside is that there is of course still a whole bunch of time that my computer is unusable while uh, the videos are editing we don't want any of this. We will go Poison Bomb. We know the potency of Poison Bomb, that's for sure. But I'm thinking about it, you know. Do I want to, like, get to episode 20 before retiring it for a while? Do I want to get to episode 15? Do I want to get the sub-8 run? Or is that gonna mean that I will have to create 30 episodes in the game, firstly? I, it's all things to wonder about, things to worry about a little bit as well. Because I'm feeling like I'm still enjoying it equally as much as right from the get-go. But I mean, the series, well, yeah, no, actually, the series is getting quite a lot of views, it seems like. I don't think people are necessarily tired of it yet, either way. But this is coming from a point of view, from a perspective in time, where there's still, there's still like, five or six more of these videos that are bound to be uploaded. So maybe by now the market has been a bit more saturated and you people are kind of like, you know, play something else for God fucking sake, which I respect. I respect that, that's for sure. I mean, I don't respect it completely because how can you ever become tired of this game? Skeletal Archers, quite early. Oh yeah, right, unedited, so I can't just shut up. <laughs> Alright, it's uh, always a bit of a switch up from the normal type of content I do because I realize that I can normally let my voice rest a little bit. Let my voice rest a, bit, a little bit, my... My, my my vocal cords recover for a second in between sentences, but not here, not here. No, this is a lightheaded zone, this is lightheaded time. Bloodlust, bloodlust, very interesting. We were missing that on one of our last runs, which could have popped off. I think we're, uh, we're in the money, maybe, if I can complete the first lord, or if I can kill the first lord quite quickly. Damage increase epic for the poison bomb. Uh, I think I would rather upgrade to the archers because they are of course always going to be our main damage dealer. Come on, now all we need to do is pound the lord in as quickly as possible. We are a little bit behind on schedule I feel like if we ever actually want to get to that sub 8 but another increased damage, I'll banish this. Yeah sure sure, our archers are doing a lot of damage but are they also still firing quickly enough? I don't know about that. Come on, we need this first lord to get in here. There we go, the Avatar of Ice. Archers, do your thing. Don't, don't, don't walk into, don't walk into his attacks, please. Just don't, no, 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 get out of there. Great, one more shot. There we go, all right. I'm gonna try to replace, ooh, increased quantity already. I'm gonna try to replace that meteor sooner or later. What will we still want? We still want some might. We might still want some mm, skeletal mages, possibly. Maybe an arm? No, we don't want the warriors. We know that the warriors are not great. Let's go for firebolt for now. And who knows, maybe there's something in there, in a, like a meteor firebolt kit completion build, where we upgrade some of our fire skills as well. I'm not sure though. I'm not quite convinced. I would love to have skeletal mages. Ah, oh, damn, 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 damn. Man, am I ever gonna get that sub-8? That's the real question though, right? I'm gonna go for crits because I love crit hits. They deal a whole lot of damage. Templar's Verdict, uh, no, I'm gonna skip it for now. I don't want Swift, I don't want Agile, get out of here, both of you. I don't want that either. Area of Effect, that's something I do want. I want to get rid of as many of these silly little monsters as possible, as quickly as possible. Mm, yeah, this is exactly what I was talking about, but no. Magnetic, level me up quicker. Level me up quicker so that I can get to the Skeletal Mages quicker. Damage increase or area increase... 45% is nothing to sneeze at though. All we need to do is kill a whole bunch of monsters and our poison bomb is gonna be proficient at that. 
Uh, we don't really want any of that. Increase the area. Thank you very much. We have an attempt here. We have something. Increased duration for the bloodlust. Sure, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. You know what else you shouldn't mind if I do? Uh, did I just increase the area or the damage? The multicast chance of poison bomb and meteor. It's not bad. I guess we should now kind of keep the meteor. I don't really care about the potency. I just want it to be up all the time. So I would rather have area so that my meteor and poison bomb are larger. And we can still replace our primary ability, our bookshot as well. That's for sure. We can replace it with might. I think that's going to be great. Although I always like having a bit of control of where I'm pointing my attacks. Because if you go completely with random abilities that you don't control yourself you feel just like you feel like a, a passenger you feel like a passive observer iggy pop could make a song about you increase the damage modifier of your lasting skills or poison bomb uh, when you apply poison you apply doom mm. uh, instantly execute though so that's really cool in doom it can instantly execute the lords if you get a lot of stacks on on there but i don't know if we're going to be able to reach that point with the lesser amount of attack speed that we have for now increase critical strike modifier thank you all in all i think we still have quite a solid run here actually but i think we're definitely going to need to speed things up a little bit more and by we need to speed things up i mean that the monster spawns need to do speed up Damage modifier, general damage by 20%, critical damage modifier by initial 24%. I love critical hits, man. I love some critical hit modifiers. Our FPS has started to suffer, but we need to power through that. I don't want to keep the multi-call. I don't want to keep... I don't want to keep the bookshot. I don't want to keep the bookshot. Do I want to keep the meteor? I guess we will keep the meteor. Let's check at the end of our run whether it has actually done any damage at all or whether it was just a very poor choice. We just spawned our archers, which is great. They need to get a lot of crits in there. Area of effect, please. All right, all right. Not too bad, not too bad. We're not doing too bad. I want our skeletal archers to survive a bit longer. And we have already increased quantity a little bit. So I think all in all... Ah, hmm. Area, area. I definitely like some area effects so that we can apply the dark effects in a larger area. Leviathan for the raw damage. And the PC upgrade for the raw FPS upgrade as well, please. <laughs> I'm really, really starting to need it. I'm starting to feel desperate for the little PC upgrade. I think that was the area upgrade, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Then that's fine because we needed to cover the entire screen. Another area upgrade? Sure, sure. Our meteor hopefully has some potency in it now. Either way, it can just apply debuffs. That's something. Come on, come on, we need more monsters around here. We need more monsters to spawn as quickly as possible. Let's go for the cast reduction or the cast speed increase, rather. And all in all, man, we have something going for us. It's not perfect. It's not the best run. We still have no vicious strikes, for example. We didn't get might. But all in all, I think it's quite okay. Uh, do we want to reroll? I think we do. Give me something good. Increase damage. Increase damage. Increased area. Let's go for increased area again. I think our skeletal archers are already doing enough damage to one-shot the lords once we get them to spawn. So we need more proficiency in spawning the lords. And that translates into area of effect. We don't want to keep our bookshot. We want to replace it with might. Get out of here with the bookshot upgrades, please. There's a whole lot of RNG involved in this speedrun process, of course. The damage modifier of Firebolt, no, that's not something we need at all. We don't need our Firebolt to do damage. It's just there to apply a bit of burn and darkness, maybe, possibly, if it is, in fact, possible. Ah, man, man, no, oh man, oh man. I think we're going to be close. We're going to be close to a great time, but it's going to be a mediocre time. That's my prediction. What are you guys, your guys' prediction? Fire shield, it's a bit too late. I would rather increase the area of effect. Oh, a great spawn, though. A great spawn right in the corner. We got him right where we want him. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, come on. Two more lords. A bit of a cost time reduction, please. Thank you very much. What other games are there for me to play in this unedited fashion and to upload in the 3 p.m. slot, huh? I was thinking about playing some League of Legends games, maybe, because I really, really feel the itch to play that game again. I was thinking about some Heroes of the Storm. Some Heroes of the Storm gameplay right there, because that's also something I desperately enjoy playing, and I have not been playing a lot lately on my channel. Uh, but those games can sometimes be of such irregular lengths that that kind of scare me, because then sometimes I will have a video of like 20 minutes at 3 
p.m. or I will have a video of like 45 minutes if it's leaked sometimes. So I don't know if that's the right fit completely. Even more cost speed. Thank you very much. How are we doing? We're still quite far away from the second Lord. Uh, we're definitely not going to get the sub 8 on this one. We might still go sub 9 though. But I don't think so. Actually, I feel like we kind of fell off a little bit. We're just doing something wrong still. What other games are there for me to play? I guess Hearthstone is also a contender, but I haven't been playing Hearthstone. Oh, I haven't been playing Hearthstone at all lately. I guess there's some others, right? Maybe something crazy like Apex Legends or something. That's also something I can play like unedited, just a quick game. Damage increase of the lasting skills? No, give me Relentless. I need my skeletal archers to perforate this guy, to gut him, to get him like Swiss cheese, just full of holes. They did their job correctly. Still no might, huh? Our area has increased quite a lot by now, but oh man, we might even be we might even be kind of not able to get that sub nine in there. I feel like we really slowed down a whole lot, and I feel like my computer is also slowing down a whole lot. <laughs> I don't even know if this is still a pleasant watching experience, but uh, I'm still just uploading, waiting for that algorithm to bless me. I'm also waiting for the run. I'm waiting for the run that I'm about to do after this video, probably. The sun is shining outside today. It is a, a beautiful day out here in Belgium, which, which is a nice switch up from the gloomy, rainy days we have had so far this week. I definitely like... Well, I mean, I like running in the sun a bit more for my mood, but it does also increase the sweat production by quite a lot, which might be a bit too much information, but hey... I share my personal details with you guys. You guys are like my family. We're not going to set any records in this episode. We might still get sub 9, but as I said, I don't think we're even going to reach that point. I guess I did something wrong at the halfway mark there. I think we were on our way to greatness, but we threw it all away at some point. I like it more when the sun is shining when I go running for my mental state, but it does make it a lot hotter for your body and it makes it a lot more sweaty, right? So... The best run is a clear blue sky, but not too intense. The sunlight doesn't have to be too intense, you know. The temperature can be a little bit on the colder side, actually. I think that is my preferred way of running, actually. When it's not that scorching hot out there, but the sky is still beautifully clear. I mean, I guess you have to count your blessings and you have to be careful what you wish for. And you can't have everything in life and all those sayings that apply to this situation all at once, of course. All in all, 9 minutes and 8. Not a bad time, but I feel like we could have gotten more out of it. Let's see. As I suspected, the meteor, huh? The meteor and the firebomb. Firebolt. If you would have gotten skeletal mages, I don't think I saw them pop up once during this run. I think it could have been a lot better. But it is the fastest victory on this map for some reason. So, <laughs> at least we got that going for us. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Uh, sorry for pondering on about channel details for the entire duration of it. But, I mean... That's what you sign up for, right? The unedited videos, it's going to be a, dis, a, 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 a non discontinued, so a continuous ramble train. But I'm going to pull on the brakes right now and call it a day. Bye-bye.